Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and uh, in this React JS video tutorial, we will learn about use memo hook. So first of all, let's look out the points of this video. We will learn why use memo hook is important and why we use it. We will understand a problem. I will just create a small example and I will show you that what is the problem with that example and how we can resolve this problem with the use memo. And uh, obviously for uh, resolve this problem, we will uh, use a memo function, memo hook. And uh, then I will ask you a question. You're gonna attempt this question in the comment box. And I will also provide you the answer of my previous videos question. And uh, this is my Insta account if you just want to join me here. So this is my output screen and uh, this is my app.js component, right? So first question is why we use memo hook. So what actually happens sometime uh, some functions are actually called unwantedly, right? So let's say I just want to update some uh, uh, states and props that time uh, we just using some functions, but these functions are still calling whenever our value is actually not updating right so how we can stop these kind of things so now let's uh, understand this with the problem so uh, let's say i have a state so just take a const and uh, use here count and set count for update this state and uh, we can simply use a use state here right use state hook use state and uh, just simply use here use state by default value can be zero right and uh, similarly i'm just going to take one more state and uh, let's say its state name is item this is again a second counter but i'm just going to make a different name that's why it's i'm just putting it a counter right set item and uh, the by default value can be uh, let me just correct it uh, use state and let's say its by default value is uh, 5 right now uh, I have a function I have a button here and on this button click what I'm just going to do I'm going to update counter so update count right and let's uh, just make a click on it and uh, use arrow function and uh, def use it set count state right and let's uh, increase it by the one with the count plus one and uh, here i am using h2 tag and inside it let me just print my count state value like this right so now what we are getting here you can see that this value is updating on a uh, button click that's great there is no problem so now I have a function here. So let's say my function name is a uh, uh, counter multi counter. Let's say multi counter, right? Multi count. And in this function, what I'm just going to return my count multiply by two, right? So that's a simple function. And here I am just uh, putting here multi count and just return this function here right multi count like this and now what actually happen whenever i will just update it it will update by two that's great there is a no problem you can just check it again this is working fine right so now let's say i have one more button okay so just let me make a console here console dot one and let's see that this function is calling every time whenever we will update our state right here you can see that that's great there is no issue because our value is updating and this is working fine so now i have a one more button here and on this button i will just update my item right and just put here set item and it will be item increased by one right and I can just print here item here 
and just print here item state. So we don't have any issue. It will work fine, clearly fine. But there is actually an issue. So whenever I will just want to update my multi count, then I will call this function, right? And uh, it will be uh, calling every time like this. Multi count is calling because our multi count is increasing. So, but the issue is whenever I will update my item then this is again this is calling right but this should not be called or for the according to the performance but it will be called because our component is rendered again and again so how we can stop it so to resolve this problem we can use a use memo so just put here a use memo and now just take a variable let's say const uh, multi memo or something whatever name you want to put and now use here use memo and it will accept a function as an parameter so I can just simply put this function here and in a second parameter I can tell it that it should be call only whenever our count will be updated because we are just multiplying the count right so it should be only called whenever our uh, count will be called so that's great now let's uh, see whenever it will call the okay, multi count is not defined here so now I can just uh, use this const and this is not a function so I'm not going to use your brackets uh, okay so just let me refresh it whenever we will update the count this function is calling that's great because we just put here this condition whenever we will update the item now this function will not going up gonna call right and it will save our system performance so now we know that this is a small counter and uh, I'm not going to perform the system effect and all but whenever let's say this is a huge huge function but that time it will just unwantedly call then it really make our system slow right that's why we should use a use memo for a specific update so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in a comment box in last video i asked that in a class based component basically we use a pure component so what we can use in a functional component for improve our performance so this is the answer we can use a use memo right so my question is for this video um, can we use use memo inside a class component also right and my second question is so here you can see that we are uh, using the state for use memo can we use props here just let me know the answer in a comment box and thanks for watching this video